Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning Bag with another CSR2 video. I decided to make a brand new playlist just to show people how to tune cars. The most commonly question asked questions I get are about how do I tune this car? What's a good tune for that car? How do I set my transmission on this car? Well, you can't really copy other people's tunes at all. You change one fusion part, you change one stage six part, that might require a complete retune. All right, if someone else's parts don't match yours exactly and you copy their tune, more than likely, that's going to not be the best tune for your car. It's probably going to be a slower tune. If you were to follow this method, you're probably going to get a much better tune out of your car. This has worked for me on almost every car, but there's been a couple weird ones where this method hasn't quite worked. But on 98% of every car I tune, this is the best possible method I've found to get the best, the fastest time out of my car. Now for live racing, you can get down tunes to beat your dyno time and all this junk. Uh, those are cheater tunes. I don't, I don't promote the cheating tunes on my channel. I'm going to sh show you how to tune to get the absolute fastest time from most cars. All right, so let's give it a start. All right, so today we're going to tune the Chevrolet C10 Tiffany. All right, if you guys can find a better tuning method, awesome, but... I've been playing around with tuning methods for a long time and I can't find a better way to do it. So the first thing is we need to figure out which part gets tuned first. And this is a little bit of a pain in the butt because you got to tune the first part, reset it, tune the second part, reset it, and tune the third part and reset it and see which part gives you the most EVO points. And then you're going to tune the parts in that specific order. So here we go. We're going to try and tune the nitrous and... I already know the nitrous moves up this way. When you tune a car, you want to make sure you, you go all the way this way and all the way this way. And another thing you got to watch for is sometimes, this is very important, sometimes you'll get to like here, the numbers are going up, the numbers are going up. Then you'll get to this point and the numbers start going down. Then you move it a couple more notches and the numbers go down. A couple more notches down, then you might move it just a little more and bam, the numbers start going back up again. So those are a couple things you got to be really careful of when you're tuning. You don't want to miss, you might find a sweet spot somewhere. Most cars don't do that, but some do. Generally, once the numbers start going down, they're not going to go back up again. But sometimes they do. So right now we're, we're watching to see which one gives us the most EVO points. All right, so we're on 783. 783. 780. So 782, now let's reset that. We're going to remember 782. Now we're going to move our final drive. Always check this way fully. I already know that this way makes my numbers go down. And check the other way fully. Say so we're up over 1,000, so we know the transmission is going to give us way more than the nitrous. So 1160, 1300, 1400. 1460, 1490, 1500. Look at this. It's going way up. All right. So we're just going to say 1500. Now we're going to reset this. Now let's see what we get with the tires. All right. I don't think we're going to get over 1500. 860, 869, 871. I can't actually remember what the nitrous gave me, so let me pause this. I gotta check that again. So 879 on the tires. So the final drive definitely gives us the most EVO points. That's the part we're gonna tune first. Alright, so the final drive gives us the most. The tires give us the second most, and the nitrous gives us the least. So that's how we're gonna tune this car. Alright, we're gonna look at EVO points first. And then we're going to do the dyno time. All right, so we got 1511. Okay, now they're going back down. We, we had 1511. We want to see if we can get a higher number than 1511. 1501. 02. 15, 15, 10. 15.09. 15.10. 1511 so now let's look at our dyno time we've got a dyno time of 8.911 so let's just adjust this a little bit 
8.915, so that was slower. Let's try the other direction. 9.13. Alright, so we're going to go with 8.911. Alright, so now we got the... First we look at the Evo points, and then we adjust by dino time. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So this is where the transmission should be set on this car. Now we're going to go with the tires. We're going to adjust this until the, we get the highest Evo points possible. And then we're going to tweak it a little bit and try and get the very highest amount of dyno time. All right, so I think we're going down. Okay, we went too far. But like I said, check the entire range. 1509, 1510, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16, 15, 20, 22, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Once you tune one part, it really changes the way the other parts need to be tuned, which is really strange. I've never quite figured that out. All right, so there we go with 15.30. Now, let's check out the dyno time. We've got an 8.877. So let's move it one notch this way. 8.80, so that's slower. Let's move it a notch the other way. 78. It's 8.77. That's the fastest we've got. Now we're going to adjust the nitrous. So now the nitrous is doing a lot more than it did in the past. Like I said, once you tune a couple parts, it totally changes the way the other parts work, which is very, very strange. But this is the best method I have ever found. All right, so we got up to 1616, I think it was. And like I said, make sure you check all the way to the left and all the way to the right on each part. So let's check our dyno time. 8.704. 8.705. So that was slower. Let's try the other way. 707. All right. So that's the fastest right there. Now we're going to go back and we're going to double check each part, starting with the first part we tuned, which was the final drive. So we're going to do this one completely by the dyno time. So we've got 8.704. 704. 704. I'm just doing one notch at a time. There we go, 701. So sometimes if you go back a second time, you can tweak, tweak it and get just a little bit more out of it. 702. 704. Okay, it's going the wrong way. So we had 701, all right? Now we're going to go back to the tires. We're going to move it down one notch. 698. All right. That's a little better. 696. Even better. 692. 691. 689. 689. 686. So that's even better. 686, 82. So we're, we're pulling a little bit more out of this by going back a second time. There we hit 684, which is actually slower. So we know we want to be right there. So we're going to go do the, the uh, nitrous for the last time. So we got 682. Let's move it one notch that way. Six, 678. So that's a lot slower. Let's try a notch in the other direction. 686, that's slower. 691. All right, so there we go. 682. 8.682 is the best I'm going to get out of this. All right, that's it. That's my tune right there. That's exactly how I tune all of my cars, and this usually gives me the very best tune I can possibly get. So every time I add a stage six part or even a couple fusion parts to a car, I completely reset my tune and I do this all over again. And I know that sounds crazy and it probably sounds worthwhile, but you would be surprised what happens just by adding a couple small parts. It's best to reset, start over completely and do this every single time you add new parts to your car. That way your car is gonna be running the fastest time you can find possible. So do this. 
find the right shift pattern for your car and it should run like a top all right you should have an amazing really fast tune on your car all right so the video i made earlier was showing you the quick way to tune a car this is the in-depth way I just reset my tune and went back and tuned this the way I would do for the quick way and let's see what the difference is. How much better is this way versus the quick way? Alright, let's go check out the dyno time. I got an 8.846 versus an 8.682. So we almost got two tenths of a second faster by doing the in-depth way versus the quick way. The quick way is usually really, really good, but sometimes you can get a even a, a much more than two tenths of a second there's actually been times where i've got like a second or a second and a half out of some cars by doing it the the, the in-depth way versus the quick way this car made a little bit of a difference some cars make a huge difference now i will say though like the legends cars are a little bit weird to tune i haven't quite figured out what the best way to tune the legends cars is because the Legends cars seem a little bit strange. I'm still using this, the in-depth method for the Le Legends cars, but I kind of have a feeling they're, they're not getting the best tune. But besides the Legends cars, every car I've ever done this with, except for like two or three, has gave me a great tune. And I've always done the easy way and this way, and I've always got just a little bit more or maybe a lot more out of tuning this more in-depth way compared to compared to the quick way so it's always best to figure out which part needs tune first tune the parts in the order of which they give you the highest evo and all that good stuff so i think that pretty much wraps this video up all right the in-depth way definitely will get a little bit more out of your car compared to the quick way so i think that pretty much uh i think that pretty much does it for this i'm gonna put this on my brand new playlist that's just for tuning your cars I might throw another video on there just for some like extra trip tips and tricks and things to think about. I'm not sure, but right now there's going to be two videos in there. I might make a third video for the how to how to tune playlist or whatever it's called, CSR2 tune your car or something. I can't remember what I named it, but it's right there on my profile. Just go to my page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see my playlist. It'll be right there. All right, catch you guys later. Please like, subscribe, and hit the little bell that notifies you when I make a new video. See ya.